Sound familiar? You've signed up for a 100 mile ride, and maybe it's for charity, but you haven't been able to get the training in. And you're nervous. <laughs> I mean, you're really nervous. Yeah, it's unsurprising really, because we're riding a century. It's a pretty big deal. But we think we can get you around one if you follow this advice. On one hand, we want to make this ride as easy as possible. And we can do this by making sure our bike is in tip-top condition. So start off by making sure our chain and gears are clean and make sure our chain is lubed up. Because if a chain is rusty and dry, then it's going to rob you of precious energy. Then you want to look at your tire pressure. I would go for around 80 to 90 PSI, and that's a good ballpark for a road bike. But it totally depends on your weight. You don't want to be too soft, because that will also rob you of good energy or you don't want to be too hard because frankly, that'll be far too uncomfortable. And then we want to make sure our bike is clean because after all, a clean bike is a fast bike. Now this is super important because ultimately food is fuel and you need to make sure you keep eating and drinking throughout your bike ride. But before you set off, think really carefully about what you put in your pockets. Yes, sports nutrition products are great and they pack the calories needed and are easily digestible. But we would suggest you go for some solid, normal foods like jam sandwiches, flapjacks, or even oat bars. And that seems to work really well, especially if you're not used to those sports nutrition products on your stomach. And on that last hour, if you need an emergency kick, why don't you take a gel? So first thing to do on the morning of the event is to check the weather. The last thing you want to be doing is carrying around wet weather kit if there's no chance of rain. 13 degrees and sunny. Hmm. Perfect. Make sure you've got a good kit that fits well and is comfortable. Because the last thing you want to be doing is riding an ill-fitted kit because that will slow you down. You might not feel like wearing Lycra, but if you can grip and bear it, tight Lycra really does work and it will make your riding a lot better. Keeping your undercarriage as comfortable as possible is also paramount. But if you haven't done a ride of this length, then you might feel a little bruised at the end of the day. But don't worry, because you will get through it. One thing you can do that will prevent any chafing or unwanted irritation is to use something as simple as chamois cream. Think about it as a, well, lubricant for your bum. I personally don't use it, but some people really find it helps. We can't stress how much of an effect this will have, even if it's only one rider. It's the equivalent of taking your 100 mile ride and taking it down to 70, as long as you keep nicely tucked in behind the rider in front, making sure you're saving as much energy as possible and giving you the best chance of getting around your 100 mile ride. That said, you need to be really conservative with your own pace. So if the person whose wheel you're following goes a little bit too hard for you up a climb, you need to be prepared to back off and let them go. Yeah, so try riding the climbs at a comfortable pace for you. This stops you burning precious energy more quickly than is necessary. You can think about it a little bit like a car. You're going on a long journey, and you've only got a limited amount of fuel. If you start accelerating really hard away from junctions or going really fast up hills on the motorway, you're gonna burn through that petrol really quickly. So you need to drive efficiently. And it's exactly the same when nursing your body around a century. Yeah, so be conservative and stick to a pace you're comfortable with the entire way around your 100 mile ride. Despite those tips, the 100 miles is probably still sounding a little bit daunting. So why not go for a 25 mile ride instead and then just do it four times? Yeah, it sounds stupid, but it works. Not only physically allowing you to grab some food and have a nice respite, but also mentally. We can all do 25 miles, 
so don't worry about it. And before not too long, the ultimate goal will be in sight. That's right, make the most of the little break that you get between your 25 mile rides, take on some food, maybe fill up your water bottles and mentally reset before you start the next leg. The only thing I would say is you probably don't want to rest for too long between your 25 mile rides because it is going to be a big day anyway. And if you start adding in loads of rest, you might actually find you start to run out of time. No, as the day wears on, you might find you stiffen up. So try and be disciplined and maybe keep those breaks to around five to 10 minutes before you get going again. Right, I reckon it's time we get going. Already? Oh, it's been 10 minutes. Ah, oh, man, time flies. In summary then, the first step is to try and make that 100 miles as easy as possible. So you make sure your bike is in tip-top condition, you make sure your clothing isn't gonna hold you back, and you make sure that you shelter from the wind as much as humanly possible by following a rider or riders in front of you. Yeah, and then you need to think about your own ability. So fueling up as best as possible and being conservative in your pacing. And don't forget to shave your legs. Now, hang on a minute, mate. I thought we established that that we weren't gonna recommend leg shaving because it really doesn't make that much difference. It really does. Looking good, feeling good, going fast. It makes sense. All right, we'll carry this debate on a little bit later on. Uh, in the meantime, please give this video a big thumbs up. Best of luck in your century quest. I'm absolutely positive that you will make it round. Just follow the, the advice that we've given. And if you would like a little bit more information about the nutrition side of things, which is super duper important, then we've got a video devoted to that subject. You get through to it just down there.